Hello, in this video I will show how to use for axis continuous milling in SprutCam. We will machine the part that you can see on the screen. Uh, at the first step I would like to locate my part in the coordinate system. So it is imported and uh, we need to uh, X axis, Y axis, we need to rotate it. So to do it select the part click transform rotate around x axis 19 degrees apply the next step locate 0 uh, and locate 0 middle x middle y middle uh, min z ok so right now our part is uh, our part is located this way uh, so the rotary axis is located along z axis next step go to machining and choose the machine so we can see the machine right now uh, the part is located on the table uh, next step I would like to define the workpiece. To do it I will choose machine, select workpiece, uh, define primitive and uh, create turn envelope around Z axis. Add this kind of so uh, and close. Right now we can see machine I will make the machine invisible and we can see the workpiece so workpiece is transparent okay so we would like to remove this material uh, I recommend to do it I recommend to use rotary operation uh, well uh, creating the rotary operation create finishing rotary machining create the new operation appeared in operation list so uh, the first step for the rotary operation I have to define the rotary axis uh, <coughs> uh, rotary axis can be defined on this page rotary axis orientation uh, we can define the global coordinate system this is the coordinate system that we can see here okay and along z axis nice uh, make machine visible so I define on lead tool is defined automatically uh, I can run calculation uh, the calculation needs some times I think uh, maybe one minute well uh, so pull pass is calculated after that going to simulation mode and start simulation make the part one moment make the part visible this way so our work is, our work is visible <coughs> and start simulation again so this way we can take our part uh, uh, so let's have a look on the parameters of rotary machining at the first step I would like to define the to define the uh, zone I would like to machine it is better to define the job assignment 
and I reset the toolpath, make machine invisible, make workpiece invisible, and uh, after that I would like to machine only the parts, these surfaces. To do it I select, one moment, I select all these surfaces, not a problem. Uh, I <coughs> un uncheck this button to select uh, faces separately. Select everything and after that uh, hold control and unselect inner faces. Yes, this one. So only outer faces are selected and after that I add the selected faces to the job assignment. Click this button. So only these faces will be machined. Uh, the next step I would like to change the strategy of machining. Click parameters, go on strategy and to pass form change to linear and the step and I, I would like to make the tool smaller and for example this one and define the holder okay nice uh, calculate the tool pass waiting about some seconds again So now we can see that only selected faces are machined and uh, nothing more. Uh, well, uh, let's have a look in simulation. Very good. I reset the workpiece state and uh, we can see that the toolpath is going on the place that changed nothing. Yes, I don't want to I don't want to go along these surfaces because it remove nothing. So, uh, to choose it to remove this toolpath, I need to check the workpiece. Well, go to machine back and uh, go to parameters, trimming toolpath and define check workpiece. Uh, this is the value. Uh, distance from the workpiece to the pad that will be ignored. I will set for example 5 here and click OK. Recalculate the tool pass. Uh, so right now we check the workpiece it takes more time for the calculation but uh, calculation is still quite fast Well, we can see that the toolpath is located on the in the place the the workpiece exists. Exists. 
go to simulation have a look reset the workers and calculate and simulate at the speed so right now it removes all the place Let's have a look on this. Sometimes it makes the lines and after that go back. Well. So make tool pass invisible, make machine invisible and have a look on the result. Very good. And uh, I have some error messages. Click right mouse button and go to next year. Yes. And what is the message? Let's make the tool pass visible. Uh, it says uh, that uh, we have a contact with tool pass on the rapid speed. Uh, on the rapid speed. Uh, so to to remove this problem, I need to define lead in lead out and uh, define step level. One moment. Okay. Uh, so the tool pass is not really very clear here. Uh, to to resolve this problem, I recommend, for example, go to strategy and uh, disable the uh, optimization. Recalculating the tool pass. Okay, uh, right now tool pass is not so optimal, but it is quite clear. Uh, let's reset the workpiece and make machine visible. And start the simulation. Tool pass is not so optimal, but it is clear. Okay. So we can see that there is no mistakes. Well, 
it is not uh, all for this operation. Uh, we can see that the depth of the milling is quite big here. I <coughs> go to model and double click on this face. The radius of this fillet is about 9 millimeters. So the depth of this uh, slot is about 9 millimeters. In this place the depth of the slot is about 14 millimeters. Uh, this height is too big for the milling. Uh, so it would it could be fine to define the roughing passes, rough passes. To do it, go to machining and uh, define the parameters and radial layers add the rough passes. 14 millimeters is the depth. And for example, I would like to make uh, four, la four layers. OK. Click OK and recalcul recalculate the tool pass. So it takes uh, four, time, four times more time for the calculation. Uh, maybe not so. Waiting. <laughs> well, waiting for the result. Calculation time is about two minutes. Okay, <coughs> so go to simulation. And let's have a look on the toolpaths. Toolpaths have four la levels. Make the workpiece invisible and the part visible. First layer, second layer, third layer and the last layer. Okay. Uh, the depth of the milling is uh, equal, not more than this distance. Okay, we can have a look on the simulation, reset, and play again. 
make the workpiece visible, make the part invisible. Second layer and the third layer. And the last layer. Okay. Uh, right now I've shown you one way how to machine the uh, how to make four axis continuous milling the if sport cam. Uh, uh, at the next part of I will show how to uh, make the tool pass along the slots. Uh, thank you for your for your attention.